Thank you. I didn't crash it. What did you do? Oh, yeah. Because it was taking the hood off the water. It did not. 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 Can you look through that hood like you would be if you were flying it? Um, we're not coming out. No serious effort, no matter what. Well, uh. more important, I get a picture. No, no, we're not. Oh, I. All I did was. The, so what you have in front of you is the Raven DDL. It's a, it's a lightweight, portable aircraft, a main aerial system that requires two operators to fly. The system consists, of, or the class consists of an 80-hour course that was taught by the Army that's now being handed over to the master trainer in order to teach the course. It's now a trainer, train to trainer course that the Army has handed over to us now. And with that being incorporated, we are actually conducting our first operator course in the state of Alaska to be able to certify throughout our brigade in the battalions to bring their concurrency of the Raven operators up to, to where we need them at right now. We have an uplink and a downlink that goes through the aircraft and comes back down. At all times while we're flying, it's actually doing real, doing live recording of the actual pitch, air picture. And at the same time, the operator and the mission operator that controls the laptop and is watching the, the feeds has the, the ability to take pictures of anything that happens. And with the recordings, if you miss something, you can actually go back in the replays and take pictures of, you know, something that you might have missed while you were up in the air. It's a lightweight, portable system. You can have it up and operational within 15 to 20 minutes, be able to give commander real-time, you know, air picture or, or a real-time live picture of the battlefield versus back in, you know, OEF, you know, one and stuff where you didn't have this stuff and you had to use troops to go out there and do it. <laughs> so way, the way this works is we have our antenna, our antenna with a with the cable run into our, our laptop, into our GCS, which is our ground control system, our terminal that allows us to operate the system and to view the video feeds and stuff. So what will happen is, as the operator, you'll come out with the with the boxes. As one, as the operator is setting up the aircraft, the other one is loading your mission into the system, based on the mission that you have, in, you know, in real world theater. And at that time, once the operators are done and they have went through their pre-flight checks, they'll launch the aircraft. And within, they like said, within 15 to 20 minutes, they can have the aircraft up in the air, providing real-time video feed to the commander sitting inside a tuck instead of sending the soldiers into the battlefield.